All right, uh, let, me, let me move on and ask you about uh, Newt Gingrich. He's running for the Republican nomination as well. He was here in the Situation Room yesterday, uh, and he strongly disagrees with you when it comes to President Obama's decision to order the killing of Anwar el Awlaki in Yemen. Now listen to what the former speaker told me. The fact is, uh, Congressman Paul's wrong about uh, the law. He's wrong about the Constitution. And the president was exactly right legally, and he was exactly right morally in killing somebody who was a threat to everybody. All right, so go ahead and respond to Newt Gingrich. I'd, I'd ask him to uh, read the Fifth Amendment. Uh, it's pretty clear that you can't take a life without due process of law, especially of an American citizen. So I would say that he's way off base. This is historic. We've never had a policy that said that we can put somebody on, a, on, a, uh, on an assassination list by a secret uh, tribunal, so to speak. We don't even know what the qualification is or the, or, or the criteria to put somebody on this list. I think this is a most dangerous precedent, and uh, respect for the Constitution and the rule of law uh, needs to be uh, looked at because I think we have lost a lot of it. I consider this one of the most dangerous things that we have done, and this president has done it in the opening. opening. He announced this policy in February of last year. I gave a speech on the House floor shortly thereafter uh, uh, advising how dangerous this was, and uh, this, this means that uh, we have very much violated the whole concept of the rule of law. Because Newt Gingrich, in defending the president's decision, says Anwar al-Awlaki was an enemy combatant of the United States. And over all the years of warfare, the U.S. has been able to kill so-called enemy combatants. So what do you make of that argument? Well, I, I would ask uh, him and the president to produce some evidence of exactly what he did and why, why is he an enemy, what are the charges. And, you know, if we can try Adolf Eichmann, uh, the Israelis tried him in 1961, don't you think we could try somebody like a, a Lockie or, or at least, you know, recognize that individuals should be captured when possible and tried? But this uh, enemy combatant, anybody can, you know, when the, and the, the word I think uh, has already been used is that he was a threat. I think uh, Gingrich used that word, a threat. Well, I'm anti-war and I might go to an anti-war uh, rally and uh, what if the administration said, Ron Paul is a threat. Somebody in the media, he's a threat. He's preaching that the government is doing wrong with the foreign policy. This, to me, is a very, very dangerous precedent. So would you support uh, articles of impeachment against President Obama for, his, for this decision? I haven't introduced them, but I think it's an impeachable offense if uh, the mood of the country was such that they wanted to do it. Yes, I could support that. Ron Paul, uh, Republican presidential candidate, as usual, thanks very much for coming in. Okay, well... And I write about uh, this whole debate over the killing of uh, Anwar al-Awlaki.